Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the magnitude of force at the pin A and in the cable BC needed to support the 50 pound load, uh, 500 pound load. So here we have 500 pound load and it said that neglect the weight of the boom AB. So we have to find the support reaction at A and we have to find the tension in this cable. So for that we need to consider the free body diagram of this AB boom. So now this is, uh, I have cut, uh, separated that AB boom from the whole mechanism. And if, if we uh, consider the free body diagram of uh, this ball separately, if we consider this ball, so its weight is going to act vertically downward. Here we will have the weight which is going to act vertically downward and this is 500 pound and the tension in the rope must be acting in the upward direction so let's say let's say this is t1 so here we will have that same t1 as well so the since the system is in equilibrium then if we consider this as a free body diagram then this ball this load is also in equilibrium and if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero and upward direction is our positive direction so considering this load this t1 is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus t1 minus the weight this is equal to zero and t1 will be equal to 500 pounds so the tension in this particular cable is equal to the weight of this load and that is equal to 500 pounds so now we can say that this is equal to 500 pounds so now if we consider this a b boom so the tension in this rope is equal to 500 pounds and the tension in this rope or this cable is required to be determined let's say that is equal to t we need to find it and here we have that point a at where we have that pin joint so at pin joint we need to have two support reactions let's say let's say this is my a x reaction and let's say this is my a y reaction in the downward direction let's say this is these are the assumed direction so now to find a x a y and this t uh, we need to apply the equilibrium condition so for finding this t i'm going to apply the summation of moment the summation of moment about point a that must be equals to zero and the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive so now here we are given that this rope is making 22 degrees with the horizontal it is given here that this rope is this bc rope or cable is making 22 degrees with the horizontal so if it is making 22 degrees with the horizontal so then it must be making 22 degrees here as well with the horizontal so now let me show that angle here so this uh, bc cable is making that same 22 degree angle here and if if this angle is let's say if if this eb boom is making 35 degree here then uh, this eb boom must be making that same 35 degree angle here as well with the horizontal so now let's say that if this angle is 22 then this whole angle is 35 and if you want to find this small angle this small angle will be 35 minus 22 so this will be 13 so let me show that this small angle is 13 so now to find the summation of moment about point a uh, it will be better to resolve this t tension along and perpendicular to this ab boom so we need to resolve this t in normal and tangential components along this ab boom so this t is making 13 degree with the axis of the boom so this t will have one component if we resolve this t along the the boom axis so it will have the cos component in this direction since the angle is made with the axis of the boom so this will be t cos of 13 since the angle with the boom axis is 13 so this it will be the cos component of this t along the boom axis and we will have one another component of this t which will be perpendicular to the boom 
so this will be t sine of this will be t sine of 13 degrees so now we can apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero so as we can see that this t cos of 13 is passing through the line of action of this component is passing to that point a it's not going to produce the moment about that point a this ax and this ay they are passing through this point a they are not going to produce the moment about point a so this sine component is producing the moment about point a in the counterclockwise direction so we will write plus t sine of 13 and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this sine component from that point b is the length of this boom which is eight feet so we will multiply this with eight feet and similarly this 500 pound force is producing the clockwise moment about point a so i will write minus for clockwise 500 and the moment arm or the perpendicular distance of this 500 pound force from that point a is this distance which is the cos component of this eight feet if we consider this uh, right angle triangle then the base of this triangle will be eight cos of 35 so 8 cos of 35 is the moment arm of this 500 pound force and this will be equal to 0. So from this we can say that T sine of 13 into 8 is equal to 500 into 8 cos of 35 and if we divide both sides of equation by sine of 13 into 8 this will be equal to sine of 13 into 8 this will cancel out so we will be left with t magnitude so now t magnitude is equal to 500 multiplied by 8 cos of 35 divided by sine of 13 multiplied by 8 so this gives us t equals to tension in that bc cable is equal to 18 20.73 newtons approximately so we were required to find this tension t this is equal to 18 20.73 newtons now we have to find a x and a y now to find a x and a y we need to resolve this t into the components along the x and y uh, along the x and y axis now we cannot find a x and a y using these two components since they are parallel and perpendicular to the boom axis so for that to find a x and a y we need to resolve this t along the x and y axis now we know that this t is making uh, 22 degrees with the horizontal so we can say that uh, this will be the component of t along the x-axis if this is my positive x and this is my positive y so this red one is the component of t along the x-axis this is tx and this will be equal to t cos of 22 degrees since this t is making 22 degrees with the horizontal or with the x-axis and similarly we will have the sine component along the negative y direction so this will be this will be our y component this will be our t y and this will be equal to t sine of 22 degrees so now if we apply let me remove these components now let me remove these components now if we apply the summation of forces along y along x that must be equals to zero and towards the right is our positive x direction so now as we can see that this ax is acting in the negative x so i will write minus ax and this t cos of 22 this is acting in the negative x as well so i will write minus and t x is t cos of 22 t magnitude is this which is known so we will write that minus 18 20.73 cos of 22 this is equal to zero and from this we can say that minus ax is equal to 1820.73 cos of 22 and if we multiply both sides of equation with minus so this will become plus so we have 1820.73 cos of 22 degrees this gives us ax 
equals to minus 1688.15 newtons approximately and the negative sign tells us that the assumed direction of ax is not accurate ax is acting the actual ax is acting towards the right so we can say that the ax magnitude is this 1688 and it is acting towards the right so this is the actual direction of ax similarly to find a y we need to apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to zero this is our positive y direction so now we have a y acting in the downward direction so i will write minus a y and then we have this t y component this is acting in the negative y this is t sine of 22 so t is 1820.73 sine of 22 and this 500 pound tension is also acting in the downward direction so we write minus 500 and this is equal to zero so now from this we can say that minus a y is equal to 1820.73 sine of 22 plus 500 so this is 1820.73 sine of 22 plus 500 sorry this is 1820.73 sine of 22 plus 500 this gives us minus a y equals to 1182.06 newtons and if you multiply both sides of equation with negative signs we will have minus and plus so again we get the minus sign with a y so the initial direction of a y was acting towards the uh, negative y direction but from the minus sign it it is uh, confirmed that a y is acting in the upward direction so we will say that the magnitude of a y is 1182.06 newton and it is acting in the positive y direction so the tension in bc cable is equal to 1820.73 newtons and ax magnitude is 1688.15 it is acting towards the right and ay is 1182.06 and it is acting in the upward direction now in the problem statement we are asked to determine the magnitude of the force at pin a so we have to find the resultant uh, resultant support at pin a so the resultant support is always uh, we can find that by using the pythagoras theorem so we can say that a will be equal to ax square plus a y square under the square root as we know that a x the actual a x is acting in this direction so we can draw the diagram so this is a x and a y is acting in the upward direction so the resultant will be a so now by applying the Pythagoras theorem the a magnitude will be equal to a x square plus a y square under the square root now we know AX magnitude that is 1688.15 square plus AY is 1182.06 square under the square root. So this will give us the A magnitude. This is 1688.15 square plus 1182.06 square. This gives us A magnitude equal to 2060.85 newtons. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Ingenious Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Statics.